and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Swain for some meme tier Monday. Uh, going th with this one with the meme tier version, even though Sejuani Swain is usually a pretty decent deck, and I think this deck will do just fine. Um, but the person that, that joined for it said it was kind of a little bit more of a meme tier deck with um, Aura, Glint, Horn, and uh, Ember Maiden. Um, so, you know, we're going to be going with that combo. And that's a pretty sweet combo if we can get it to, to happen. It's, it's pretty difficult to get to happen, right? Like, you have to have your Ember Maiden in play, do one damage to everything. So, like, one damage to all of your opponent's units. And then and uh, then be able to attack with Glint Horn, stun all those damaged enemies. It's pretty sweet when it works out. It doesn't always happen. But Ember Maiden is just a great card in this deck anyway, because it's great with Swain and Sejuani. Like, Ember Maiden doing one damage to everything really levels up your Swain super fast. And also, everything includes the opponent's Nexus, and so that's another way to do damage to the opponent's Nexus for Sejuani. Uh, besides that, we got just a, a good smattering of removal, pretty um, efficient units, or good blockers. Um, with like Omen Hawk, Avaros, and Sentry, stuff like that. Um, so it'll be a good deck to play. So um, here we go. We're going to go play some Sejuani Swain. And let's go have some fun. Let's get, get some good records here. We're going to go play five games over in normal. And it looks like we got a mirror match to kick it off versus the bird. We're going to uh, mulligan the expensive cards. Honestly, I could see keeping Leviathan or Sejuani or maybe both. Like, they're just amazing cards to have on curve. But, um, you know, they're pretty expensive. So we're going to, we'll just go ahead and mulligan them. My avatar or my opponent's Link Eyes? Which one, mine or my opponent's? I, di I didn't see, I didn't even look. I didn't see what the avatars were. Well, I mean, I know mine, but I don't know what the opponent's was. For the Empire. Okay, mine. It is... I don't think I'd trade. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. I should have gone... Mis you're right. I should have gone minion for my guardian. I... Yeah, we should have gone minion. I'm sorry, Bailey. I do really like minion in, in these Swain decks. Mine was an avatar from the new festival. From the Spirit Blossom Festival. Alright, fine, we'll switch over. <laughs> we'll switch over to Minion. After we win this mirror match. Oh. That card kind of a problem. That makes my Ember Maiden much worse to play. And so I'm not going to play it. Which was my plan. Come on, trade. Yeah. All right, that's pretty great. Definitely glad those trade. Fight or die. All right, that's a big resist raider. The winter's claw. Alright, first, Sejuani.
Man, I keep on, like, thinking I'm about to play Ember Maiden, but then I'm not. Like, I made that attack thinking I was going to play Ember Maiden, and then realized I only had two mana left. And so, like, this turn I was thinking I was going to play Ember Maiden. And I'm not. I feel like I don't need to actually kill their Swain right now. It's damage, it's just gonna get stunned. If we need to, we can, but I feel like I don't have to. Um, that other card during their turn did, you know, give us a Sejuani level up on their turn. That Death Sand. To no one. Uh oh. Well, that makes life worse. Uh, yeah, I guess I will just pass. Get a member made in. We're setting up our combo. Go straight to attacks. So we, you know, like beginning of our turn, deal one to everything. Go straight to attacks. Hit him for a whole bunch. Okay. I don't have the mana for Culling Strike and Fury, so I can do one or the other. I can either Culling Strike that Omen Hawk, or just let this happen and then have mana for Fury. I guess I should Culling Strike the Omen Hawk because of Swain. Uh, because if I if I just wait for Fury, they get six damage here with the Noxion Fervor towards uh, leveling up their Swain. Fight like the animal you are. Well, could be bad. Bristle, attack. Could be bad. No. Was bad. So it looks like if I would have tried, if I would have tried Fury instead, we would have been fine. Would have been able to keep it alive at least. Wish we had that glint horn. Prove your worth. Return fire. Your path ends here. Uh, let's see. It 
Yeah, we're yeah, we're playing Glenhorn instead of like three Leviathan at the top end. That's why we're meme tier, not you know, like the meme tier version. Um, I kind of want to go Fury on the Ruthless Raider to put the Leviathan to one health, but I guess we can't really do that, can we? That was too bad that I'm being able to kill that Glenhorn. Per that perfect turn having the Noxion Fervor and the Fury of the North and the Ravenous Block, all of them. By my hand, the Noxus rise. Grand General! Let the flames take you. I know that's just gonna kill my Omen Honk. It's alright. Oh wait, that just killed me. Alright. I forgot about the one damage to me. Whoops. Alright, weird. Still don't think we're gonna be winning the you know beating the Leviathan Swain combo. That that combo is just incredible. Once they kill like that Glenhorn is what I needed. Whenever they killed that Glenhorn. It's kinda over from there. Um You know what? I'm gonna keep these. It's gotta be kinda difficult for my you know, removal heavy control deck to deal with Swain, Sejuani. And now Leviathan, like, these things have so much health. Um, they do have, like, Ionia cards, like Will of Ionia, but Ion you know, Will of Ionia even is now a lot more expensive. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I just want to go out on my own terms, right? Exactly. Okay, Coaling Strike can answer in Ezreal. If their plans as real. Rain from a cloudless sky. You can see the Nebastian border from here. For the homestead. You lack subtlety. <laughs> I will take that. Light the signal fires. This land is ours. Well, I've, you know, I'm planning on killing the claws of the dragon with the death sand. I'm not planning on trading these two. I would have traded the two one. Within my grasp. <clears throat> But I'm. Um, Death Sand's not gonna kill a whole lot of things. And yeah, we get the. You know, the Sejuani level up and everything. Beauty charms while claws take hold. Um. I got two calling strikes. We'll use one. We got two. Because, you know, the next few turns are going to be tapping out anyway. Uh, spending all my mana. Playing Swain, playing Sejuani, stuff like that. So, that dealt zero damage to the Ruthless Raider, but they just do that to get the um, level up towards Ezreal. Like, that's, that's the reason to play that on there instead of doing one damage to me. Oh, hey! Uh, Ash Hamblick, GG's. You just played against us? Very nice. Good game. Let's go... 
I guess I go Averrosen Sentry. Nothing escapes my watch. I don't think this is a very good Ember Maiden turn, to be honest. And... I could Culling Strike this to go straight to combat with the Swain, but I think that playing Sejuani is the best thing that we can be doing right now. Well, Leviathan for next turn. Okay, Alfredo, you, you changed the Sorrow deck a little bit. What? What'd you change? Try to upload it somewhere. Um. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. Okay, you just put in two War Mother's Calls. Okay. No, yeah, you would not take out Vengeance and Ruination at all in that deck. You took out those for War Mother's Call and Withering Whale. No, you'd, you'd want to get rid of, like, Pack Mentality and things like that. That deck has to be a three ruination deck. You would, yeah, that has to be a three ruination deck. And really, vengeance to. You got to be playing the, those two cards. But I could see playing a couple more catalysts. Catalyst of Aeons. I see every move. Like Ruination is just amazing with just playing NV three two threes as we saw with the game that we won. Because you know you get to just keep playing two threes, so they have to really extend and then you ruination and then you keep playing two threes afterwards. Like Ruination's a, a big part of your deck. GG's. That's why I just kind of kept Swain, Sejuani. You know, we drew Leviathan right away, wasn't mad at it. Those cards are just so powerful, and it's just so hard to, to stop those with any kind of mana efficiency from a control deck. Um, yeah, I mean, those cards are great. We kind of saw it. We've played two games. First game, my opponent played Leviathan. They won. Second game, we played Leviathan. We won. Like, Leviathan... Is pretty amazing. Card is super good. I don't know how much I really want Death's Hand in this matchup. Maybe we play one. I won't play the other. A keep, that is. Okay, I like that. That gets rid of Misfortune. That's a, a big thing. It's got to get rid of Misfortune. Hey, what's up, Fresh Lobster with the big time raid? So many people. What's up, everybody? We are playing. Uh, let's let's get on in there. Yeah, then we'll just go Ember Maiden this turn. We're we got meme tier Monday today. We're playing some meme tier decks. We got Sejuani Swain. A little bit of a meme tier version with Auroch, Glinthorn, and Ember Maiden combo. That's kind of what we're focused on with this specific version. But we played some fun ones today. We played all in Fizz. Uh, you know, like where Fizz is the only unit. And then we also played 
the Scribe of Sorrows Iceborne Legacy deck where Scribe of Sorrows is your only unit and you just get infinite Scribe of Sorrows. Those over and over again. And we also, let's see, that's not a bad Calling Strike target. Yeah, that's not a bad Calling Strike target. The, the Island Navigator. Me if you can. And then, of course, going the Ruthless Raider here because of the tough. And so that it would stay alive. Um, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> hey, what's up, Metaworld Gaming? Um, so yeah, that was that one was crazy. And then we also we played a deck that had the has the ability to kill on turn two. We call it turn two kills deck. It's basically impossible to pull off, but it does have. There's about three or four different combinations of cards you know how you have the six cards on turn two if you have the ato the attack token and the right combination of cards you can do 20 damage on turn two and uh yeah so that was that was our turn two kills deck <laughs> it's pretty crazy it, it's like you know, sparring student, you need that for like a one drop that can keep growing. And then, um, also need like, uh, Oblivious Islander. You know, like multiple Oblivious Islanders. Usually you want like three. They can keep making things cost zero and stuff like that. Uh,. I want to Noxion Fervor and kill the Misfortune. Nothing escapes my watch. That's a big time card. I'll pair perfectly with Ravenous Flock. Always forward. So I thought might as well just go to, might as well let them go to combat, block this thing first. Cool, get a block in. Obviously we're just hoping they don't have Sejuani, and then we're hoping, darn. Uh, then we're hoping we draw Sejuani. Man, this thing is so big. So big. Down from the trees. Look out for reavers. All right, we need to draw a card. We're gonna block with the sentry oh, instead of blocking with Omen, Omen Hawk. We have might. I did not realize we had might. Go Swain plus might. Uh, this is not gonna be easy. Isla Navigator has destroyed me. Like, I wish I could Death's Hand plus Flock to kill Sejuani. That'd still be using two spells to kill one thing, but 6 7. Just can't do that. Um, I think this game's just over. Hmm. Going this way allows me to kill two things, and it allows me to actually use transfusion. dog scratching the carpet sorry all right so it looks like these eight mana followers are super powerful so far the first game my opponent played leviathan 
I didn't. I lost. Second game, I played Leviathan. We won. Third game, my opponent goes Riptide Rex. They win. These... Looks to be a pretty big key. Doesn't really matter what happens the rest of the game. Just slam down those eight mana cards. With Leviathan, Riptide Rex, those things are super good. Uh, let's see. I don't want Might, but I think I want the rest. I could see getting rid of Sentry. We'll get rid of Sentry. Um, Ember Maiden should be awesome in this matchup. And it doesn't kill my Ruthless Raider, so those two work really well together. Is it? The winter's claw strikes. Okay. Ember made in time. Destruction feeds my fire. Culling strike unfortunately doesn't deal with Draven because of spinning axe. Possible I should transfusion here to heal my Ember Maiden too. So it doesn't die. Hmm. Good chance I'm gonna do that. This land is ours. do that, they get free attacks in. Maybe I don't do it. Basically, if I, if I do it, I'm... No, I don't know if it's really doing enough for me. Okay, okay. Well, now... Dance in the flames! No, I shouldn't block. I shouldn't let them go with the vision or anything like that. Um, yeah, and, and I'm not going to pop that up. Because basically, all tr okay, so sorry. All Transfusion does to save this, to keep it from, from dying at the beginning of the turn, is uh, basically just trades with um, House Spider. And it felt like Transfusion would be a little bit better than that. All right, it... trade it with Mystic Shot. That's not a bad card to trade with. Leave nothing standing. All right, I just have two of these Ravenous Flocks. I'm gonna use one. I can use it during combat because of the Overwhelm and let them block. If I just use it first, then they play a new blocker. It's Draven time. Anything else? <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully Culling Strike works on that thing now. Hopefully. Okay. Rules are made. Take that. Like buildings for people. You should try blinking sometime. It's, you know, vision is the card they have to have. 
Ah, bad vision. Bad. Watch and learn. I'm just at too low of a life total not to block. I'm pretty surprised that Jinx wasn't attacking. Okay, well that was the worst card for me to draw. Ugh, I have absolutely nothing to play this turn. Why couldn't I have had you last turn, Glenhorn? Three out of twelve. You dream it, I'll build it. Dark in the sky. More equipment for the field. Hmm. Empire, above that could be good. By my hand, the Noxus rise. Grand General. What? Oh, so they, they have Mystic Shot in hand. Yeah, that other card's also Mystic Shot, because it's the fleeting ones, so they just have two of them. So they just rummaged away of a Mystic Shot. It's like, what are you doing? A minor setback. Well, that, that was because turn six, turn seven, especially turn seven, you know, like I just didn't have a single thing to play turn seven, so I didn't have a, like even a blocker. Just, you know, Ravenous Block, Ravenous Flock, and Leviathan on that turn seven. If I just had, you know, any one thing to play, I think we would have been fine. Basically, Ravenous Flock and Leviathan were like the only two cards I couldn't draw in the turn seven. All right, Yasuo Swain. I'm going to keep these. Yeah, I could see I could see Death Lotus being being good in this kind of deck. Yes, I I think Death Lotus is really good. I think that's a really underrated card. Um, so yeah, I could see that. I'm not. I don't think you would really take out Ravenous Flock for Death Lotus because if you're playing Death Lotus, then uh, that does make Ravenous Flock better. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. I'm sure we could probably maybe take out some other stuff. Like, I don't know if, like, Omenhawk is really necessary in this kind of deck. Like, Omenhawk just dies to, like, your Ember Maiden all the time. And, like, I don't even... I don't know if that's really any good. Like, I honestly don't know if this is a good Omenhawk deck. Like, it's probably not. Nothing escapes my way. Alright, get some damage in. We'll take that. Sleep is for the guiltless. So how do I kill Yasuo? This would be a time where Ravenous Flock would be great. My hand's not any good either. A Yasuo Steel Tempest, wow. Has 
Nice, we'll draw a card. Technique, good results. Just how are we actually, like, how are we killing these things? Know your enemy. I don't know. This is where we need Ravenous Block. Okay, that's a card. Sentry. Stun a 6 6. Life and death on the blade's edge. You should stay back, cowards. Oh, wow. And so that doesn't even get to do its trigger. As of now, even if they stun anything else, Yasuo will have zero power, so it won't strike, so it won't do any damage. Big blade for a little warrior. Underestimate me. I dare you. So it didn't work out. Um, it's really, really difficult to pull the Ember Maiden and Orok Lindhorn combo. It is really difficult to pull that off. We had the opportunity to a couple of times, but the opponents had the interaction to shut it down. Um, so yeah, I don't. I think the problem with this deck, the reason I honestly think the problem with this deck is is a lot of these cards basically are are one through three mana cards. Like our Avros and Sentries, Omen Hawks, even Ruthless Raider. To be honest, Ruthless Raider is not really pulling its weight. And that's what I've kind of noticed with, with these kind of decks. It's just, um, you know, like they're not, uh, like we're super relying on, on these champions and stuff. I played a different version. I mean, I know that's that's like the meme tier version with trying to get the Ember Maiden and Orok Lenhorn. I played a different version. Um... Uh, just, you know, I don't know, like, less than a week ago. And I, I think that this version's a lot better, honestly. I just think, like, Avaros and Trapper is a great card. We're still going with Ember Maiden, but then pairing Ember Maiden with Avalanche, uh, you know, like, pairing those together to do a lot of damage. Also with Death Lotus, definitely like that card. And, you know, not not playing, like, your Omen Hawks or, or like, the 3-1 tough. Sentry's still in here because it draws cards. Um, you know, having a lot more of that kind of stuff. Babbling Bjerg gives you another way to to find your Sejuani's and your Leviathans because 
you know, this deck definitely relies on Swain, Sejuani, and Leviathan. And I and I love City Breaker in this deck also. I know City Breaker is not good against challengers, but City Breaker um, is perfect with both of your champions, whether it's um, because we're playing much more controlly and um, playing like avalanches and all this stuff, it's not easy to level up Sejuani. City Breaker does that, doing damage each turn to the enemy nexus. Um, that that helps level up your Sejuani. And once you have a leveled up Swain or Sejuani, you know it's just another stun. You know, beginning of the turn stun, or beginning of the turn frostbite, and everything. So, um, yeah. So I this is as far as wins go and stuff. That's the version that I really recommend. This one, I don't know. It's just. You know, like our Omen Hawk didn't really trade with cards very often. Our Ruthless Raider, kind of the same thing. Like it, it was okay, but it never like traded up. It like always traded with two mana cards the whole time. Um, and you know, like if we just don't have these things, we're just our deck's not going to be powerful enough compared to what other people are doing. All right, but there we go. So that's Sejuani Swain with Glinthorn. I wish Glenhorn was better. It's just, it just never works out. Like I never, uh, I've yeah, you know, I've tried a lot of Glenhorn. I've got a lot of uh, donation decks, especially for these meme tier days with Glenhorns, and it doesn't work out too well. We did play one really good Glenhorn deck with these regions that was a War Mother's Call deck. That one worked out quite well because that one you know you're going with Avalanche and stuff like that, and then going up to War Mother's Call um, with. Leviath, Swain, Oroch, Glenhorn, Leviathan, and having War Mother's Call put them into play. That one was pretty sweet. But anyway, that's it here for such a Wani Swain. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.